Hello everyone, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers, NAODS.com. In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to add a frame and a um, effect in the quick mode instead of the expert mode. So those of you who are watching this, I really expect you to pull out a photo and try this with the, these effects with your photo. And I want you to save it as a JPEG and then post it in the Facebook uh, comments below because I really want to see what you guys are working on. It's really a lot of fun. So please make sure you do that in the next day or so. And I would love for you to do it right now. So follow along with me. I just wanted to show you all the different layers that we have over here. I'm going to throw them away right now so we can start from scratch. So basically just go file and open, open up one of your JPEGs. And then what I'm going to do is instead of working in expert mode, I'm going to click on quick mode. And you'll notice that you have not as many options in the quick mode as you did in the expert mode. Now I'm going to come down here to the right hand side in the bottom right hand corner. You'll see that you have adjustments, you have effects, you have textures, and you have frames. We're only going to work in the effects and the frames panel. So I'm going into the effects panel right now. You'll see that you have all different kinds of things to choose from. Now you do not have to pick what I'm going to pick. So I click on the cross process and it goes ahead and it applies that to this. Now I could try all these other ones out, but I do know that I like this cross process. So I'm not going to waste time showing you the different effects for each, each one. You can try them all out on your particular photo. Next, I'm going to click on frames. And I know that I kind of want to use maybe this frame right here. It's called aged. Now there's not a whole lot of options to choose from. Now this one's not so bad either, or this one here. Now if you have like a girl dog, maybe this one would work, the flowers and buttons, but mine's a, a male dog, so I don't think he would appreciate me doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this aged one, and it's going to go ahead and open it up inside of that. And I can go in here and I can move this around if I want to. I can also see what happens when I go to the very corners and I try to enlarge it or shrink it down. It will then allow me to use this little slider to enlarge it if I want to, and or I can move it and make it smaller. I think I want it to be about like this. I can then come inside of here and click and drag. Maybe I want it to be more on this side or may, maybe more this way. Um, Let's just go right about here because I want to put Leo the Bandito in the bottom right hand corner. So you kind of play around with that. Now here's a little trick. You don't have to stay inside the quick mode. You can go into expert mode and I can't stand this when it does this, but I always, I always pulls up this bottom properties box here. I just want to op keep that open there for now so you can see everything. But you notice here it has all these different layers. Now if I double click on this, I can change the background color. See how it's changing the background color? I'm just kind of choosing a different color from my color picker there. I, I clicked on this and then I double clicked on this actually and it will give me, I can do different colors. So that's kind of fun. So I'm just going to go with that one. It doesn't really match that great but it kind of it kind of makes it pop a little bit. Then I'm going to go to my very top layer. I'm going to get my text tool and I'm just going to type Leo and then enter the Bandito. Now you can put whatever you want to on yours. Of course, yours is not going to say Leo the Bandito. I don't know what yours is going to say, but I'm going to go ahead and close this one up, go back to my text tool. and I'm going to double click on this Bandito part because I want it to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go with maybe 72 and then Leo, I think I'm going to have in a different font. So let's just go with, oh, what do we want to do it with Leo? Let's see. Let's move back here so I can see this. That's way too small for Bandito. So let's pull this up. I know the text is kind of a pain in the butt with, fo with Photoshop elements. For some reason, I just... It just doesn't cooperate with me as much as I would like it to. I'm going to double click on the word Leo and let's go with maybe, maybe not 72, but maybe 200. I'm going to hit the enter key and that looks okay. Bandito might be a little bit small and it's totally not the right color. So let's go back to the text tool. I'm going to go down to the color. I'm going to choose maybe a light gray 
or I can choose maybe if I click on here it will give me the color picker I can come in here and choose this light um, it's not gray it's more of a green color and maybe that's the color I want it to be to match that background so let's see what this looks like I kind of like it. It's Leo's name is a little bit too large. So let's go back in there, maybe go with 150. Mm, that looks good. And then maybe the bandito needs to be a little bit bigger. So let's just triple cl double click on that. And let's just go with maybe 120. No, let's go with 100. There we go. That looks pretty good. I like that. So let's keep that right about here. And then what I want you to do after you're done, you want to save it as a PSD so you have all the layers just in case you spelled something wrong. And then I want you to go file save as. You could save it for the web or whatever, but I want you to do it as a JPEG. And then I want you to upload it underneath this video so that I can see it. The quality doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to be high quality, but I want you to upload that. And just let us know if you had any problems doing this, if it was easy, or um, if you need more instruction. So I also have a really big announcement to make next week to my members. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about it. So stay tuned for a big announcement for my NAYADS members. I hope you enjoy this video. And let me know if you um, have any questions on this. I'm, I'm anxious to see what you come up with down below. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. Thank you.